Well, some pointed new allegations tonight from the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office about the President of the United States. Sheriff Joe Arpaio's office has spent several months looking into the authenticity of President Obama's birth certificate. And today, he opened up about what he says his office found. CBS 5's Donna Rossi is live with that story. And Donna, why did Sheriff Arpaio feel like this was even necessary? Seen, he said he lost the investigation because his constituents asked him to, specifically members of the Tea Party. Now, as sensitive as an issue as this is, Arpaio or his investigators did not tiptoe around any words today. Things like fraud and forgery and criminal accusations were swirling. Based on all of the evidence presented and investigated, I cannot, in good faith, report to you that these documents are authentic. That declaration by Sheriff Arpaio about President Obama's long form birth certificate and Selective Services registration card was followed by an hour of detailed analysis of how investigators reached that conclusion. But it's not my problem they came up with this information and documentation. Sure. What do you do with it? Do I just throw it in the wastebasket and forget it? The investigative team was headed up by private investigator Mike Zulo, who heads up Arpaio's cold case squad. We were having difficulty reproducing anomalies in the file released by the White House. This really started to become a problem for us. We knew at that point that this document was most likely manufactured. Zulo said extensive computer analysis leads them to believe the documents were computer generated. And then he dropped another bombshell. We have identified a person of interest in the forgery of the birth certificate. Arpaio said he's not accusing the president of a crime or being involved, but he wants answers and will not stop until he gets them. I'm going to have to make a decision whether to have congressional hearings or turn it over to an appropriate law enforcement agency. You're not accusing him of a crime, but it appears you're accusing him of living a lie. No, I don't know about that. I didn't say that. Where we, we, we don't know who the perpetrators are uh, on these documents. Now, the lead investigator suggested, and Arpaio believes that what they have turned up is enough to have a full blown criminal investigation. Arpaio dismissed claims that this was politically motivated. All right, Donna, the next question here has to be with those controversial birther bills. We've heard about them in the past, they have failed, but we're now hearing there's already a push for a new one right here in the state. Yeah, there is, in fact, seen, and it is being sponsored by the same person who has sponsored them in the past, Representative Carl Seal. He is a Republican. It would basically require proof of being born in the United States before you are placed on any ballot here in the state of Arizona, especially for president. Now, if the birther bill passes this time, we're just not sure if it would have any effect, uh, This, if this investigation is going to have any effect on what that bill would mean. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Reporting live, Donna Rossi, CBS 5 News.